Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. So I've been, Mark's been wanting this meal for a couple days, but he was on split shift with his job. So I wasn't able to make this because I wasn't going to eat this all myself. It wasn't me that was hungry for it, it was him, so I didn't want to make it when he wasn't here. But I have seen on the Facebook pages on the Ninja Combi that you can actually make the spaghetti like I have like in, in the Instapots and in the Ninja Foodies and things like that. Um, I don't know how well this is going to turn out and hopefully it turns out really good if that would be eating sandwiches or something. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it down here. I have already opened up the jar and it asked for three cups more of water. So this is a 24 ounce jar, so that's three cups. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it down here and show you what we're going to do here. And so I have my tray out here. And it's a good thing to me when you sit there and you... Uh, put the water in the jar to get the extra sauce out. I don't usually add a whole, um, I don't add usually a whole jar because I don't add that much, you know, because I'm seeing the pasta's already cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of that spaghetti seasoning. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some of my garlic and onion powder. These are the same things that I would do it the same way uh, doing this meal on the stove. Do a little bit of salt and pepper. Throw the pepper in there. Now the only thing I'm doing kind of like different than what probably most would do is I am going to go ahead and be using freeze dried vegetables. So I have just a little bit of mushrooms left in a jar. I'm going to go ahead and toss those in there. And then I have some green peppers in a jar and I'll toss some of those in there and that's going to help soak up any extra liquid I might have too and I have actually some onions here and tossing some onions now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and stir this up put that lid on when I'm done here stir this up and get this all mixed now I don't know for sure if this is what they did, but I don't like just going all willy-nilly and just have everything all not mixed. To me, that just doesn't do it for my stomach or my eyes that things just don't look pretty, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take, I buy some of that pasta that's the half, just because I'm lazy and I don't like to break it in half. But I'm going to go ahead and put... There's going to be some left over, obviously, so we'll be putting this in freezer meals um, for the Hot Logic minis uh, for lunches. And if you are looking for Hot Logic, there are two different contests going on right now. Um, I'll put down, both of them down below. One is for a Hot Logic mini, and the other one is actually for a Hot Logic family size once I get to 7,000 subscribers. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cover that pasta as much as possible. i put you on pause. Or why well, won't put you on pause quite yet. Um, from my understanding, you sit there and you put the meatballs on the top. These are my homemade meatballs. Now normally I would add a little bit of um, hamburger to this. But I'm not feeling like doing that today, so I'll just eat a couple meatballs. And Mark really likes meatballs, so that works out nicely. So what's going to happen is, I'm going to put you on pause, bring this up so you can see it over here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put the bottom tray in first. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the top tray in. Now, I don't know for sure if this is the first time you've watched any of my videos. When this is down, everything that's down is going to be on the air fry side. When you have it up, everything's going to be on the combi side. Now, there is actually a rice and pasta um, thing here. And I'm going to go ahead and try that, but I'm going to go ahead and check on it in a little bit. To me, it seems like it would work better if it was like, the combi meals, I feel really comfortable with the combi meals. And I, you know what? I'm just going to, because I'm comfortable with the combi meals and the rice has always turned out perfect, I'm going to just go ahead and do the combi meals. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down. 
to 350. Leave it on the combi meals. What's going to happen is this is going to go for two or three minutes. This is going to start to get um, all steamed. I have my little fan on over here to blow the steam so it doesn't get on my cabinet. So it kind of like just blows over this way underneath my microwave. And then what's going to happen is it's going to start the cook time. And then um, the, the cook should happen. You know, the meatball should be cooking on the top while the spaghetti is cooking on the bottom. And I will bring it back. All right, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some just plain bread. And I'm going to go ahead and put some butter in a little bowl here. And what I'm going to be doing is adding some garlic powder. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of parsley. And I'm going to stir this up. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on the bread. And that will make kind of like a homemade garlic bread. I've been liking it doing it this way instead of like just sprinkling it on like I, how I have always in the past. I just think it's just mixed better. It just, to me, it just tastes better. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to take the four pieces of bread. And I'm going to get a different knife. That knife is just not cut up there. It's too hard to function around here. One. Now I'm gonna be putting these over there in the June, and um, be putting this on air fry, and this will be air fried for about six or seven minutes, and then the toast will be done. So far, the um, Ninja Combi has not started its cooking, but you can see the steam over there. And of course, if we don't eat all the garlic bread, I just go ahead and save it because I like cold garlic bread. I just like garlic bread, period. It doesn't matter if it's the next day or whatever. It's been in the refrigerator. I still like garlic bread, so. I'm getting better at figuring out how much butter to put in that little jar, too, by the way. So anyways, the garlic bread now is ready. And I will go ahead and put that over there in the June, and I'll be back. All right, so added just a little bit more water because I wanted it to not be as dry. And this is what it came out looking like, which I think looks really good. And I don't know for sure if you can see the meatballs. The meatballs are a little bit more overcooked than I probably would have wanted them to be. I should have pulled those out. I wasn't thinking. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pour these meatballs into the spaghetti. All right, so I'll go ahead and get these all nice and stirred up in here. This is really, really, really hot. I want to give you like a little taste test. To see if I would do it this way again. Because like I said, I have made it in the Ninja um, Foodie. And I have made it in the Instapot before. But I've never made it actually physically in the Combi. And then of course, there's the garlic bread. I'll go ahead and pull out the silverware. And we'll see <laughs> what we think of this real quick. Hopefully I can get this not to be so hot here. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I mean, I would definitely, for hands off, I would definitely do this again. Um, Especially if you had other things that you were doing or you wanted to take care of. 
while trying to fix this instead of trying to worry about the noodles and everything. I love everything that pretty much is um, one pot right here, as you can see. I mean, yeah, we had the thing that the meatballs were being cooked on, but you probably, I could have probably thrown the meatballs physically in with a, with the sauce too, and that probably would have been fine. Um, I did cook this on the 15 minutes on the combi meals. I didn't do the rice pasta that some people do, but I think this is gonna work out just fine for dinner. So I hope you um, enjoyed this video. I know I enjoyed doing that for you, and thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.